Larger projects in Scrivener will often end up with lots of documents in the binder, organised into different folders. To make these easier to find as you glance through the binder, Scrivener gives you the option of assigning custom icons to your documents and folders. In my example project here, I have a bunch of folders containing the chapters of my manuscript, but I also have a few folders here in the research section. This notes folder contains notes, and this folder named Ideas is a collection of rough ideas for scenes I want to add in later. Naturally, I'm referring to these folders a lot, but right now they're just using the default blue folder icon, and they look like any other folder in the project. To make them easier to pick out, I'll assign each of them a custom icon. Let's select the Notes folder, go to Documents, Change Icon, and choose the green Notepad icon. This helps the Notes folder stand out in the binder. The Ideas folder could use a different icon. This time let's right click on it, find Change Icon in the pop-up menu, and choose this light bulb. Over in my Draft folder, I have a Problems document which contains notes I've taken about the problems that have arisen in my manuscript. Plot holes, time travel paradoxes, that sort of thing. I really want this to stand out so we'll give it the warning icon to make sure I pay attention to this. Scrivener has a variety of built-in icons, but your options don't stop there. You can even use emoji. Maybe we'll add the skull emoji for a document where we keep track of causes of death in a murder mystery novel. Going back to the change icon menu, I'll choose icon from text, and the emoji menu opens automatically, where I can scroll to find the emoji I want, or type something in the search field for the most relevant results to pop up. You can even bring in your own images to use as icons via the Manage Icons option in the Change Icon menu. That's all we're going to cover in this video. If you're interested in learning more about Scrivener, our other guides and video tutorials should be linked nearby. Thanks for watching, and happy writing!